Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog channel. So today, I decided, like five minutes ago, I just got done doing some work on my computer and I was also reading your guys' comments and I saw this comment right here and then I started browsing online for Indian snack boxes to get like a bunch of different snacks and candies to try and there was one that says the box only ships every 20th of the month and the 20th just passed so i don't really want to wait and then i saw some on etsy too that also came with some homemade snacks which i think is really cool but i thought why not just go to the indian grocery store and pick out a bunch of snacks i'll just pick out whatever looks good and i think it's more fun to actually go to the grocery store so i can see everything and you know pick and choose so that is what we are going to be doing today. I took the girls to get a pup cup this morning. <laughs> Isn't that right? Mochi <laughs> is such a good listener. Oh, Hershey's my big, my big loaf of bread. Hi. <laughs> Hello. So I just had a little bowl of some leftover pasta. Here it is, I need to put it away still, but this is from BJ's, it's their deep dish ziti. So good, I was so excited to eat this today. I just had it, first meal today at one, cause I felt like it was weird having pasta for breakfast, but I waited until lunchtime. And I just got my favorite, my current favorite right now, the brown sugar shaken oat milk espresso. So good. It's light. It has. It's made with blonde espresso. It's just very light, and I think it's delicious. I've been getting it a lot. As you guys know, I used to get the iced caramel macchiato, but it's almost becoming a little bit too sweet for me for like an everyday drink. I don't get this every day, but I've been getting it a lot. As you guys know. I gave my brother my espresso machine, my Nespresso, because I bought it and I was just never using it. And I tried making homemade Starbucks all the time. I got all these kinds of syrups and all these kinds of milks and I tried every recipe to try and make a good homemade Starbucks drink and I just couldn't get it to taste how I wanted it. And then I just never used my Nespresso for like a, over a year. So I ended up giving it to my brother because he just drinks up espresso shots like straight like every day so I was like it'll get better use if he has it I just go to Starbucks or I buy like the bottled ones and have them in my fridge I do either of those but I've been drinking coffee a lot lately I feel like coffee just makes my day better I went and got this one at like 9 this morning and then I come home and I just on my computer and it makes me just motivated I don't know it makes me so much more motivated and I washed my hair this morning when I got up so it's nice and fresh it's nice and fluffy I love hair wash day I wash my hair once a week this time I went a little bit over I went eight days and I feel like I could have went longer my hair is like adapting to not washing it as often. And then when it starts to get greasy, I put some dry shampoo in it or wear it in like a slick back bun. So I work around the greasiness. Oh, Hershey's showing her underbites. I always make my bed and they just have to trample all over it, but that's okay. They're laying on my soft minky blanket, the softest, comfiest blankets ever. Isn't that right? But here's a little outfit of the day. I'm wearing my dad's shirt in the cotton candy color. Love this one. The colors are so pretty. And here's the back. I love this merch so much. And it's absolutely crazy. We raised over $7,000. That is so much money. And I cannot wait for you guys to all get your shirts. They should be coming, I think, around May 10th around there. But for anyone who didn't get one, I kind of am thinking of maybe just launching this again and having it like up on my page like forever like don't have an end date when you do it for a charity through the website you had to do a certain amount of days so that's why because it's like a campaign so it was just up the 15 days which selling 700 shirts in 15 days crazy they actually bonfire the website someone actually reached out to me and said how amazing the comp campaign was and they saw how much money we raised. We did a really good job, guys, and I am just so excited to see you guys in your merch. But yeah, I think I might maybe release it again and just have it be up in case anyone didn't get it or you want another one. But 
I have these leggings on. These are the airy leggings that like crisscross in the front, which I think the flares are just so cute. But yeah, these are from Airy. Gosh, they are the cutest. Oh my goodness. You guys are cuddle bugs, huh? The Starbucks worker even asked if she could take a picture of you guys in the car today because she thought you guys were so cute. Mwah. Give me kisses. Mwah. Oh, you baby. Mwah. I just received a package from a follower and I cannot wait to open it. Are these supposed to be S's for my name? <laughs> or are they just swirlies? But that's like perfect. Oh my gosh, look how cute these cups are. I am obsessed. Look at this one. It's a frosted glass with this pretty lid. Frenchie Mama, that is so cute. I love all the Frenchie stuff I could get. Everything Frenchie, love it. And this is so pretty too. It's like me with my laptop and a coffee. Very cute. I love the little rhinestone accent. And then this Frenchie tumbler. Thank you. I appreciate it so, so much. I cannot wait to use all of them. And then here is her business. Okay. Now we are off to the Indian grocery store. Okay. We have made it to the Indian store. And this is the same grocery store I went to when I made homemade butter chicken. And I got all the ingredients and spices here. So I'm really hoping they have a bunch of snacks and stuff. I don't see why they wouldn't. So, because the last time I was here, I really just came for the spices I needed, and it took me a while to look for them all because there was a lot of different things I needed, and I wasn't familiar with this grocery store. But now, today, we're just looking for fun snacks and all that good stuff. So, let's go in. Okay, we're in the freezer section, which look at these little mangoes. King of mangoes. Hmm, what do I get? Oh wow, you can just get diced potatoes. This is cheese and spinach stuffed naan. Yum, that looks delicious. We are getting that. I know I'm here for snacks, but like, I'm gonna get a few other things too that look delicious. Ooh, what are those? Fluffy bread rolls stuffed with peanuts and spices. Cool. You guys, look at these little miniature individual ice creams. How cool. That is so cute. This one's pistachio flavor. What's this one? Almond, cashew, and pistachio. What are these? They're little heart-shaped, like little waffle. I don't know what that is. They're like in the pasta section. Found the snack aisle. There are so many candies and chips. I'm not really sure what to get, so I'm just gonna get everything that like looks nice like I like the packaging and yeah because I can't really read it too well so we're just picking some stuff out I spent $46 and I got three bags full of things you guys that was such a good deal I got a lot of stuff like if that was Target or Walmart it would have been over a hundred we are back home and we're doing a haul so we got three bags full of stuff. When I was in there, there was a lot of stuff I've never seen before and I've never had before, but I just grabbed what I thought looked good. Um, so yeah, I got this dairy beverage with almond bits in it. It has real bits of almond in it. So I don't know if this is like a milk with almond. Is there like chunks in it? I have no idea. But this is it. I thought I would like try a drink too. I don't know. And then the cheese and spinach stuffed naan. Yum. So I feel like this would be really good like dipped in this other thing I got. And then I got some Notte Tomato 10% extra cur cure? Cure cure? These chips. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't even try and pronounce this stuff. These are cheddar jalapeno flavored potato tubes. Potato tubes! So kind of like a talkie a little bit. Cheddar jalapeno sounds so good though. I love jalapeno flavored anything. This is a 
hot mix. So it just has like a ton of different, like a snack mix. Lots of different stuff in there. These are like little crushed peanut brittle balls. I love peanut brittle, so why not try those out? I've never seen them in like the ball form. How cute. And then these are little hearts. I'm not really sure what these are, but they're heart shapes. They kind of look like churros. Biscuits? Melt in the mouth biscuits. Okay, they're like little biscuits. Okay, the next bag, we have some Lay's India's Magic Masala flavor. Ooh. And we got these roasted fox nut fox nuts. Simply salted roasted fox nuts. No idea what that is. But look how cool they are. After I try all these, I'm gonna know so much more about Indian foods and snacks. Like, I'll know so much more. Cause I got so much stuff and then we're gonna try it all. I'll know what to recommend to my friends and what to get again when I go back. These are spicy sandwich baccarotted, baccarotted, crispy sandwiches stuffed with a spicy and tangy mixture of chickpea flour, sesame seeds, and spices. So this was the last one of this, so it must be good. But can you guys believe all this was only $40? Like I feel like that, like yeah, I did get lots of like smaller bags of things, but I still feel like that's a really good price. I have had these before, not this flavor, but these are the Hello Pandas. These are just vanilla flavored, but they're like crunchy little bites. These things are so addicting. I remember when I was young, they used to sell those in Justice. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the Hello Panda, the, there was sticks too. The sticks and the Hello Panda. I've had the strawberry Hello Panda, and I think they had them in Justice, which I don't even know if Justice is still open. I think it might be closed. At least it closed down around me. It became justice just for boys and then, or they added a boy section on one side and then I think after that it like died down because probably like middle schoolers are wearing like just like Abercrombie nowadays. I feel like lots of young girls dress older from like what they see online and stuff, which I mean, I, was, I remember getting like an Abercrombie shirt in like fifth grade and like wearing Aeropostale in pink. So I guess justice kind of like slowed down probably after my generation. Um, these are coconut wafers. That sounds really good. I love coconuts and wafers are just delicious. This is a chili garlic chutney, cutney, chut. I'm pretty sure it's chutney. Correct me down below if I am wrong. Um, this is a spicy tomatoes, garlic, green onion, soup mmm looks good and it says there's five cups in here which I don't know how oh wait okay this might be like a little side dipping sauce okay I see so I got these like little puffy pastries and I was thinking maybe to dip those in this so yeah I think that's what that yeah oh cute they come in like a little individual Dipping cups. That's really cute. Oh, that sounds good then. Tomatoes, garlic, and green onion. So I wonder if it'll taste kind of like a marinara sauce. And then I thought maybe to dip in there, um, I got these soft and moist rice cakes, steam cooked using rice and split mate, mate, some type, some type of bean. Check those out. Only three bucks. And then. I got this little dinner, a pre-made dinner. This is masala, shoot, I don't know that word either. So this is a new thing at the grocery store. This is rice and pigeon peas cooked with vegetables and Indian spices over like rice. I don't know, it looks good. I love like soupy things like that. I am butchering all these names. I'm gonna have to do a Google translator when I do, because I want to do a eating Indian food for 24 hours video, which I was struggling with what to get for breakfast. So I Googled it and it said that they have like pancake puffs and then you could dip it in a chutney. 
So that's why I was thinking these kind of look like a, or not these, these ones kind of look like a, a pancake puff. So I was thinking maybe that's what they were talking about. So this dipped in the chutney would be like a breakfast. And then I got like a, a few snacks, obviously a lot of snacks. And then I'd maybe get takeout too for like dinner. But I got the ice cream. I did the almond cashew and pistachio one. I can't wait to see what this looks like. I love how this is like individually wrapped. I need to put that in the freezer though. And then we got some cashew butter American style cookies. These are Jim Jam's Naughty Jam, <laughs> Naughty Jam cookies. There's so much stuff. I can't wait to try these and see like what I like. I've never had any Indian snacks before besides these, but I don't think, I think these are in lots of cultures, right? I don't think it's just, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it is Indian. I mean, it was at the Indian grocery store, but I've seen these at lots of grocery stores. Um, I've seen them even at like Asian markets, so I'm not, I'm not sure, but lots of this, I'm pretty sure is just Indian snacks. I love like trying new foods from new cultures just to widen like my knowledge and see what else I like. So this is a strawberry fab. Looks again, kind of like a cookie. And then this is again, another cookie with this woman's face on it. And the last two things are fig rolls. I don't think I've ever had a fig. And a bourbon cocoa cream biscuit. So lots of like little cookies and pastries. And then I got some chips, so a little bit of everything. And then they also had so much more in the freezer section like a lot, but I was like a little bit lost on like what to get because to make something like homemade is definitely a little bit harder. So that's why I wanted to get like all the pre-made stuff this time, but yes. So that is my haul. There's Mochi outside playing. Oh, she got her ball and wants to come in. <laughs> it is much, much later. I think it's like 8.30. I have been sitting on the couch on my laptop editing for the last few hours, my eyes burn. I need to wear like my blue light glasses, but I like always forget. Also, my makeup wipes are completely dry. So ugh, I've been like getting them like wet a little bit because I'm all out of my favorite ones, which are the Neutrogena, Genia. These are my favorite, Neutrogena, but I'm all out. And I love keeping them in this little box, which one time when I got like a two pack or something it came with this box but it keeps them so fresh and like moist so they don't dry out like these Clinique ones that I have in my drawer they're really dry <laughs> but it's like still kind of working but I have waterproof mascara on so it's probably not gonna work too good out there but it is Saturday and I'm actually staying in not doing anything yesterday I went out to dinner with some friends and we got margarita flights and then we came back here and just hung out. Tonight I'm not doing anything, which I skipped the gym the past two days. So since I'm staying in, I'll feel nice and good tomorrow and wake up early. So I'm gonna be going to the gym tomorrow. That's my plan. But I had a bologna sandwich at like six, but that like, I'm still hungry. So I saw a TikTok of someone eating Chipotle and it made me want Chipotle, so I door dashed it. The amount of times that I pick up these toys, they are like just always spread everywhere like <laughs> there is no cleaning up ever and then mochi drags them on the couch too <laughs> she can never just play with one right hershey <laughs> it is almost nine so my chipotle i'm such a late night eater but it's like a saturday so it's like i'd sometimes be eating saturday at like one in the morning two in the morning so it's fine. <laughs> My order has arrived. Yay! So, I really hope the fork is in here because I love the Chipotle fork. It makes the food taste better. Yay, I got my chips. Yay, I got a fork. So I got the, the red hot salsa. I love the dragon sauce, but you can't do that on the app. Like, I've tried every delivery app and you can't do it because it's like a secret menu. And you can't get a side of their sour cream either because their sour cream is really good. Unless I got like the quesadilla or tacos, but I thought I was just gonna mix it at home with my own sour cream. I'm sure it'll taste 
pretty much the same. And then here's my bowl. So I got a bowl with white rice, fajitas, queso, tomatoes, corn, sour cream, cheese, and lettuce. <laughs> a whole lot of like toppings. I don't know, that's why I like it. I'm gonna shake it up. Yum. Mmm, I was craving this. It's so saucy with the sour cream and queso. Which their queso is good now. I didn't like it when they first came out with it. I think we tried it on my main channel. It was like orange queso, wasn't it? Man, this is usually extremely hot without the sour cream. But I always see people eating it, so I'm going to try it. Oh my gosh, yeah, this one's so hot. I'm going to dip the chip and then also dip it in my bowl. Mm. That's good stuff. So much flavor. Light sour cream. We're gonna mix it in and make homemade dragon sauce. Let's see. It's just like so much thicker, you know? That's like the only problem. Ooh, maybe let me shake it. Okay. Like imagine if that lid flew off. There we go. Dragon sauce. Still gonna be pretty hot. Some hot, some hot salsa, I'll tell you that. But the chips taste really good today. Sometimes I feel like they're way too salty and sometimes they're perfect. And they're good tonight. Yum. Well, guys, I'm going to end the vlog off here and sit on the couch and eat my Chipotle and watch a mukbang or watch something on YouTube. I, like, need to... If I'm eating at home, I like to watch something. If I'm eating in my car, there's, like, so much stuff going on that I can kind of watch. <laughs> I just, like, need to be watching something. Maybe I'll watch Sloth Girl, her mukbangs. I really like them. She's like one of my favorites. She makes everything look delicious. I love when she eats Chipotle. <laughs> Isn't that like funny how like you love how someone eats something? Which I know you guys might feel that way about me eating certain things or that might be why you're subscribed to me. But like I'm also su subscribed to people for that same reason. Like I love how she eats. It's just very satisfying because everyone eats differently. But I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's vlog. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.